what's up y'all i know i look coo 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 crazy with these two little things <laughs> ponytail pigtail things in the front of my hair and twists all over the back but um i did what i like to call passionate twists because passion twists are just a little bit different just a little bit different passion twists use curly hair and curly hair only okay y'all listen i'm a four sister I got some 4A, some 4B, and some 4C on my hair. That slick, curly, silky, it doesn't, it don't work. Especially since my hair is colored light. So what I didn't want was to have Africa up here and then have Malaysia down here. So I mixed um, some Water Wave with some Marley hair. I will insert um, a quick video of the, um, the hair that I used. I used one pack of the Bobbi Boss Water Deep Crochet Hair that comes in multiple lengths of 10, 12, and 14 inches. And I used two packs of the Zuri Braid Marley Hair. Not a beauty fashion blogger, vlogger person, but I do braid and I've been doing braids for about four years now and learned from YouTube, which is where I learned how to do the passion twists that you see please ignore the yoga swing it's a yoga swing it's not it's, it's not a sex swing it is a yoga swing uh and that is my man's dirty work clothes that i'm waiting for him to get home from work so that i can wash all the work clothes because it's friday we're getting ready to go to hawaii on sunday for my birthday for my birthday which is august 16th y'all can cash up maida smith same as my youtube name if you if you want to just say it uh, throw, your, throw your girl a dollar too for sure you some passionate twists <laughs> so anyway um i used the rubber band method i took uh sections of my hair and just put them in rubber bands and um again i use like one or two pieces of the curly hair and i use this bobby boss african roots pack where it's like six packs of hair 10 inch 12 inch or 14 inch in one pack i'll insert um, $15.99 plus two packs of Marley hair. So I spent about 28 bucks for all the hair, which is a really good price because as you know, like the free trust and hair like that, that, that free trust was like $7. I don't know what Sacramento was on because you could get that for $5 in Chicago. But I ain't in Chicago, but what I was not about to do was pay $7 for some free trust hair. So I just got the all-in-one uh, crochet pack and it worked out just fine. Um, I have a small head and a small, I have, I have a big head <laughs> and a small face and uh, my hair is very dense. So I have a lot of hair on my head. It isn't, you know, fine by any means. So I just really needed, you know, a little more volume and a little more texture to my twist. Please forgive. Um, that's my stuff that I'm packing on the floor right there. Just anywho. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you how I completed the twist with this last twist and, um, yeah, there you go. Okay. So I left my tripod in the car, so I'm just trying to prop this phone up on the counter. This is kind of a, like a bogus <laughs> tutorial. It's a full tutorial, but again, people ask me how I do my hair and I thought maybe I'll show you. So. I used a uh, wet line extreme gel because jam does not work for me. It's blurry. Jam, my hair is going to curl up. I also used um, some African Pride leave-in conditioner and some African Pride Shea Butter Miracle for moisture. Um... So I put my hair, parted the sections, didn't even try to make it like super straight because this is a boho hippie style. Um, and gonna need a crochet hook. So I took two pieces of the curly hair and overlapped them like so. So you see one end of the curly hair is here, one end of the curly hair is here. So two pieces together and made a U. Then I got this Marley hair which is in 613, the, the other hair is in 27, because uh, my hair is light. And just put that U in the middle, because you're gonna twist all of this, and this is gonna be left hanging. 
Um, the Marley hair does a really good job of like adjusting to my curl pattern. All right, so here's what I did. Take the crochet hook, put it in there. This is hard for me, especially since I'm doing this on camera. Uh, you stick the hook in open, lay the hair across. Close the hook, pull it through. I am not the most adept person at doing this. I've never done crochet anything, so it probably took me a lot longer than everybody else who does this crochet method because I probably will pull it all out again. Let's see. So, yep, see, I was pulling all the blonde out. Once you get... <laughs> your hair situated, you'll have two strands of curly on one side. See, who am I to give a tutorial? I'll stick that back up in there. <laughs> uh, but you should have two strands of curly on one side and two strands of Marley on each side, but this is missing. You split the hair, moisturize it, gel it, and two strand twist it. If you could two strand twist, then you can do passion twist. So I'm about to bootleg shove this other piece up in here, but I need to stand up in the mirror to do so. So I got two strands of the curly and one strand of the Marley, two strands of the curly, one strand of the Marley, and my hair is split in half. So, just throw some moisture on there. I'm doing it real haphazardly because I want my hair and the Marley hair and stuff to be moisturized too. The first braid that I learned how to do was a Senegalese twist. So twisting is, is kind of easy for me now. Um, but I twist the hair, right? And then twist the hair around each other. See? And you just take it all the way down the length of the hair. There are so many more better tutorials <laughs> than mine. But I just popped on here to show you all a different way for you sisters with some kinkier hair that have looked at some of the better tutorials with the, you know, good lighting and the music and the editing and the yada yada. Just to tell y'all, throw a piece of that Marley hair up in there if you got nappy hair. It adds texture and it just helps the hair blend better and I also don't think that there will be an issue with um, the hair unraveling. I did like half of these twists last night. Slept with my bonnet on. My boyfriend called me Harriet Tubman. So, all right, leaving, leading slaves to freedom. And uh, they didn't get frizzy or messed up. None of them unraveled. So, yeah, I would just <laughs> suggest that you look at somebody else's passion twist tutorial. Throw a piece of Marley up and down and uh, do your passion twists as usual. And there you got passionate twists because it's not quite passion, but it's still passionate. And there you go. So, yeah. Going on Hawaii, y'all. That's it. And yes, there is a television in the bathroom because there's a tub there and he likes to sit in the tub and watch. TV. So, all right, y'all. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I was really satisfied with the way that my hair turned out. It was really cute. See, here's me at the San Jose Jazz Festival. And my hair held up until a few moments later. But, okay, so y'all, the current is really strong, and I went out there. 
and I lost my top. It, and I got a diaper butt full of sand. And my man didn't even try to save me. And everybody saw my titties. And all he had to say was, like that's never happened before. Which is accurate, but it's sensitive. Oh, I could have died. Look, the titties fell out. And I got a diaper butt full of sand. So on that note, it's time to leave this beach. Ooh, ooh, I got hair full of, oh. <laughs> this is what happened from the beach. <laughs> of sandy everywhere. <laughs> Look. Stop showing your titties, everybody. I'm not showing my titties That's to dirty. nobody. Dirty. Dirty. Stop showing your titties to everybody. I, I'm not showing my titties. I'm showing the sand. I showed my titties to everybody on the beach though because and it wasn't on purpose because I would have charged. Okay.